Okay, greetings YouTube. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time to think about this one. Uh, this is a prophetic word that the Lord gave me yesterday or the day before. No, nope, it was yesterday. Sometimes time gets uh, jumbled for me. But he said very clearly that just as Joshua fought and took down Jericho, the walls of Jericho, by following the uh, obeying the Lord and blowing his horn. God is asking us all to blow our horns tomorrow, which is November 17th, the 17 being a very special number to the Lord. And um Sorry, I can't make this more smooth. I'm just trying to figure out what to say. Tomorrow at 2.10 p.m. Central Time. So wherever you are in the world, but especially the United States, but anywhere in the world is also encouraged to do this. We want you to, um, what it looks like, what he's showing me is everybody's blowing their horn, like a car horn, at exactly 2.10 p.m. Central Time. For 17 seconds straight to show, um, you know, you love the Lord, your support for the Lord, your, you love Jesus, that you want this country to prosper, that you believe that God has good things going for the country. He wants to retake this country back to family values and the original constitution and stuff. God does not like what he's seeing on the planet right now, but especially in the United States. The United States is the shining example of what he wants the world to be. Eventually, the U.S. will be the model that helps reform Israel, his chosen people, to be what he wanted them to be originally, which is just good, loving people that weren't murdering each other and committing crime all the time and being out for self and falling for the lies of the devil. So this is very important. The what? No, nothing. Nobody said anything. Okay, I was just listening just in case. Very important. It doesn't matter what kind of horn it is. It can be a kazoo. It can be a trumpet. It can be a shofar like they used to use in ancient uh, Israel and stuff. Uh, it can be a trumpet. I suppose it might be able to be a guitar. It just has to make air move, that he said. It has to breathe somehow. So breathe, blow your horn, okay? So what I'm going to do, because I've spent all day looking for a shofar and couldn't find one. Uh, that I could get by tomorrow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to go uh, something like that. So if that's all you can do, do it. God wants everybody to vibrate, to vibrate the air and make a noise for him, for victory, for the victory of the Lord in love and in power. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. He is not asking anybody to do anything but love. If there's any corrections that need to be done, God will take care of it. But we need to help him. Faith without works is dead. So we can have faith in the Lord all day. But when he calls us, we have to be willing to respond to his call. That this is coming from a former atheist for 30 years. That's a whole other story. Now I'm a Christian and I have been called by God to be a prophet. So here we go. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm obeying. That's it. Surrender and obey. And uh, and so there you go. That's the message. If you have any questions, leave me a note. And if it's meant to be, God will make sure I get that note, I'm sure. Uh, leave me a comment. Otherwise, love and blessings. And oh, I almost forgot. They want you to make videos, okay? God wants you to make videos. Yes? Yes, God wants you to make videos of you blowing your horn. Everybody's got cameras now on their phone. So make a videos 
of you blowing your horn for 17 seconds, you know. Don't do anything dangerous, you know, if you're in a car, pull over to the side of the road if you're going to do this. Uh, you don't have to make a video if you can't, but if you can and you know how to do it, God would love you to do that because that's going to inspire more people to see the power of God. And that's what this is all about. This is getting people to understand and believe and love the Lord by seeing how much he loves us and how much good he does for us and how we represent him doing good and being compassionate to others, especially and including those who spitefully use us and persecute us. Message over. Okay, that wasn't a channel or anything. But man, I felt the spirit in me for sure. So once again, this has been Light Wolf. Thank you. We love you. Blessed be.